Just step back. We're good. All right, we're here at the Waterford Speedball for the Mr. Ruder 161. I'm with seven-time modified champion Mike Stefanik. Uh, I've been I've been hearing that Richie Evans, who we're uh, we're uh, celebrating here today, uh, had an impact on the start of your career. Yes, uh, he definitely did. Uh, you know, at a young age, I was very impressionable, and uh, you know, Richie was uh, a guy that inspired to his level. He he would show up at a place like this, and it would be like a hush would come over the whole place. Everyone knew Richie's hollow was at the front gate. And he'd come in here and usually win the race, and uh, he built his own cars, he's his own man, and uh, made a lot of the calls himself, and totally admired the way he handled himself, you know, on and off the track. And I uh, always wanted to be like Richie, you know, build my own cars and, and try to race full time, and uh, I thought he was just on top of the world. He's a great guy. What, um, what can you tell us about the Speed Bowl? What makes the Speed Bowl uh, unique against uh, other tracks you guys race on the tour? Well, it's a real racy track. I mean, there's two grooves. You can get on the outside, and you can... Uh, if you have a faster car, you can usually get to the front, and a lot of tracks it's really hard to pass. But this place here, uh, you know, once the tires drop off a little bit, there's a noticeable outside, and uh, good side-by-side -side racing here. Great. Thank you very much. And now it is time to meet the winning driver in the history of the Wheel of Butterfly Tour. 71 victories, 7 championships. In part number 66, in the Tom Lyons Arms, in Extreme Auto Chevrolet.